Hello, my name is Lisa Wagner, and I am the chair of the Department of Psychology. I would like to welcome you all, graduates, family, and friends, as we recognize our Spring 2020 Psychology graduating class. We have created this video to recognize and celebrate our psychology majors in the only way that we can during this challenging time. I would like to thank you all for being willing to share in this experience. Now, we invited each of our graduating seniors to provide us with a photo and up to three accomplishments or expressions of gratitude. Here is psychology's graduating class of 2020. We are so proud of all of you.
Hush now, child And don't cry Your folks might understand you By and by Just move on up Toward your destination Though you may find From time to time Complication Professor Levy. This last year, I had the privilege of being the director of the Honors in Psychology program. Every year, our department selects 10 of our top psychology majors for a year-long course sequence where they each design, implement, and analyze their own independent research project. This is a challenging project that requires a lot of effort, creativity, and dedication, so I want to take a moment to recognize this year's graduating cohort of Honors in Psychology students. Congratulations to Rosie, Wilson, Lavender, Emily, Ellie, Avery, Fiorella, Donnalise, Ralph, and Didi. It's been an honor to work with each of you and to see your projects and you develop since the start of the program. I'm very proud of each of you. The Minigrode Award is named for Professor Fred Minigrode, who left money to our department to acknowledge the student with the strongest academic achievements and service to the department. This year we had many strong candidates. This year's Minigrode winner is a graduating summa cum laude. She was teaching assistant in general psychology, statistics, biological psychology, research design, and abnormal psychology. So many of you know her from her, from her classes. Uh, she served as president of USF's chapter of the Psychi International Honor Society. I think some people might be starting to guess who we're talking about. This year's winner worked in two research labs, served as lab manager for two years in my lab. I'm getting a little choked up right now. She presented research at numerous local and regional conferences and two international conferences. And this summer, she will be presenting at a third international conference, this Cognitive Science Society, where she will present her thesis work on how tr online translation tools like Google Translate produce overconfidence in students' perception of their own translation abilities. It is with great pleasure that I announce this year's winner of the Fred Minigrode Award, Donnelise Bittner. Congratulations, Donnelise. Congratulations, class of 2020. We know you're going to change the world and make us proud.
Congratulations, we are really proud of what you have accomplished. Before we conclude our celebration of our graduates, we have a few more people that we want to recognize. I would like for all of us to take this moment to acknowledge that Although these graduates have accomplished much here at USF and deserve all of the congratulations they receive on their graduation, it is likely that not a single one of them would be here today were it not for their parents, their friends, and their loved ones. We appreciate all of the hard work and sacrifice that your parents, friends, and loved ones made throughout your time at USF. Thank you. Now, I thought a long time about what I might say to all of you graduates today as you graduate from USF and move into the world beyond. As a faculty and as a university community, we have worked hard to help you learn and prepare yourselves as scholars and as citizens for the challenges and triumphs that lie ahead of you. And right now, the challenges are real and immediate and may feel insurmountable. But focusing there could be paralyzing. So I recommend instead considering what your next step will be. Not your entire future, but your next step. I hope that you will use your graduation as the step in life that it is, as an opportunity for you to pause, look around, and reflect on where you've been and what it took to get here. To hug the loved ones you can, to call or remember the ones that you can't, and to allow us all to relish in the accomplishment that this degree represents. Now graduates, sometimes our parents, grandparents, and aunts and uncles can't resist asking, what next? What will you do next? And especially now, they may ask you these questions. Have you noticed that we sometimes get into an intergenerational rut where older people ask younger people questions all of the time? And younger people rarely ask older people questions? Well, switch that up. Graduates, if you get tired of your loved ones asking you questions about your future, you can always turn the tables and ask them, what is next for you? What plans do you have for the future? What work will you do to ensure a healthy future for us all? Because it is going to take all of us working together to get our planet and our country onto a path toward a healthy future for everyone. But for now, let's celebrate our graduates' accomplishments. We wish you great happiness, all of the luck in the world, and a healthy future. Congratulations, psychology graduates. Congratulations! Let's go! 2020!